Hi, Obates, welcome back. So you wanna know some tarot secrets, huh? Well, it's going to focus on the symbols and explore the deeper meanings of the court. The renowned psychoanalyst, Carl Jung, offered valuable insights into the court cards by relating them to his own theory of personality types. And just as Jung divided human experience into four distinct but overlapping ways, the court cards too reflect these facets of our psyche. When we move through the world seeing, hearing, smelling, we're doing earthy things, connecting ourselves to the suit of pinnacles and in the court cards, the pages. When we use the approach of conceptualizing our experiences and using processes, we're in the king's realm with air and the suit of swords. But when we use our emotional intelligence and we move through the world using our feelings, we're in tune with our queens and our queens are water and cups. When we have those sudden flashes of insight, we're using our intuition. That's corresponding with our knights, fire, and the suit of wands. So let's nail that down. Fire, intuition, knights, water, feeling, queens, air, thinking, kings, earth, sensation, pages, golden dawn, princesses. So yeah, we just talked about the Golden Dawn a little bit. What about that confusion surrounding the titles of knights and kings? So the Golden Dawn introduced a shift that equated traditional knights with kings and vice versa. This discrepancy has sparked so much tarot debate. Personally, I like both ways. You just have to know which one you're working with in which deck. Now, astrologically, the court cards also hold significance. So each card is represented with specific qualities and functions within the cosmic order. So how can we interpret these? Tell me, which one do you think you are? Are you an adventurer? Now, astrologically, the court cards also hold significance. So each card is represented with specific qualities and functions within the cosmic order. Are you a student? Are you a more mature leader? And do you prefer to rely on your intuition, your feeling, your thinking, or your sensation? When we start looking at it this way, it's kind of easy to decode what the court cards mean. With their intricate relationships and symbolic depth, these serve as mirrors of the human experience and gateways to self-discovery. Thank you so much for joining us today and watching. I'm Erin with Awan Ovate. Like, follow, subscribe anywhere you can type at Awan Ovate. Until we meet again, blessed be. I'm Erin with Awan Ovate.